A common challenge in games is to know where to put data that you want to have shared. Like for example, I have a bunch of enemies, I want to know the total number of hits that they took or the number of enemies that were killed since the start of the game, as I'm doing here. So the most common way uh, people do that is often using singletons, also called autoloads in Godot. These are global objects accessible from anywhere in your code base. I have an example here. It tracks the hurt count and the dead count of the mobs. And if I open the script of one of my mobs, well, I'm currently not using that autoload because we're going to see a better way, but uh, I would write this, right? The name of my autoload dot the variable and add to it and do that everywhere I need access to this value in the user interface, in the mob scripts, and you'd be tempted to use that in other places of your code. And this is the problem with autoloads. It's that they tend to pollute your code and make changes difficult later on. Instead, now in Godot 4, we can use static variables in GDScript. So when you write the static keyword before a variable, then all of a sudden, it's not attached to the individual bats or slimes in your game world, but instead it's attached to the script resource, to the class that these are instantiated from. This means that when you increase the variable, the data is shared between all of the instances of the mob class in this case. That's why I can click different mobs and I can delete them. And in my interface in the top left, the count assists. Now, what happens if I delete all of the mobs? What do you think will happen? Well, nothing. My data is still there. Why? It's because scripts in Godot are a resource. And so what I'm doing there is in the interface, I am loading the mob script that I named static variables mob in this example. So even after deleting all of the mobs from the game, there is still an instance of the class or the script loaded in my static variables node. So the data is not lost. And this is how you can use static variables in Godot 4 to keep track of shared data without polluting your code's global space. This video is sponsored by good old game devs like you who invest in learning with GD Quest. Remember, for a limited time, you can pre-order our Godot 4 courses below launch price.